it's, it's yeah, actually two years ago is when we started meeting and forming this organization. Uh, the exact structure and the people to staff it had not yet fully worked out. And the district's consultant was just in the process of putting their the plan together and retrieving just tons and tons and tons of monitoring data that uh, was broken down by sub sewer Those shed, watershed, air, areas right, or right, whatever. the areas that were the watersheds that we're working in now. I think the biggest step that this group has taken is we've acknowledged that um, the watersheds don't know any governmental boundaries and so we're crossing those boundaries we're we're taking it as what is contributing to the to the rivers pollution not just from a community or one you know arbitrary man-made boundary but uh, the natural boundary boundary itself and I think that's been just monumental to take that approach um, so now we've got people on the ground people that live in those areas and know the areas and can help identify where pollution has the potential of coming from or where it definitely is coming from and that's going to help us target these projects that we're now uh, two years into the process now we've we recognize what the water quality issues are from the previous study and now we can go into those watersheds and identify what the problem is and that targets the public's money it's a better use of the government money so yeah. we're hoping to get some real meaningful and most importantly measurable results out of doing those projects. You see water quality benefit, um, chemistry benefit, habitat benefit, and recreational use benefit. Have you seen um, with the, um, the citizens that live nearby the river, um, do they have more of an ownership as the process is developed? Do you see that kind of growing or an awareness that you know they have this resource that maybe they could take advantage of more in terms of the whether it's recreation or you know just tying in more to that it's been an future. interesting mix of of folks that have come to these meetings many of them have their own motivations the, the fishing group want to see habitat improved the canoe and kayak group would like to see access and recreational and and ha big habitat topic improvement, on the Menominee. very big, yeah. a, a very well utilized, and and then uh, there's the local residents that just want to see improvement in the overall. Um, oh, let's see, what's the right word? I guess the local residents just want to see the beautification of the, of that area. It affects their own property values. Right, right. A lot of senior citizens have been very active in helping out and volunteering. It's been a great mix. Yeah, it sounds like you have a, a great group yeah, we going do. there. Yeah, we do. And some of the communities are more uh, invested in the process as well. And it's good to see them get involved. We've so got a lot uh, of support. Do, do you, you at GRAFE then, are you the facilitators and um, also for co coordination for activities? Or how does that work? Or is that yet to be well, developed as you it's, get into the plan more? At this point, it's not a paid position. We're volunteers like everybody else. but. Um, the local residents bring their local anecdotal accounts and knowledge of the area. We have some technical experts that can help um, and make that contribution into the decisions and the projects and whatnot. So it's a mix of everybody helping out. So so far we're, we're on a voluntary basis and we, we support the cause, we support the organization, we see good things coming out of it. Um, as and that's like been data, so far. Just like the data that gets collected and stuff, is that done through the counties? Keep track of that within their systems, or I'm just thinking of like as um, any kind of monitoring data. The, the MMSD right now MMSD. has got extensive monitoring um, in place and more going in, and, and some of it can be accessed online in real time, which is just tremendous. But they've been the impetus of. of getting the measurable results mm -hmm. and the measurable status of where we are right now. So, and that's the criteria that will be used in the future as well. Um, we run a real wide gamut. I think you just heard in the meeting that there's parts of the Menominee that are, have very sensitive and developed habitat and right, ecosystems. Right. Yeah, protection and yet, type. Yeah. Protection type measures. And then there's other ends of it that are just, you know, metal sheet pile wall lined you yeah. know totally urbanized so 
it does really come down to this sub watershed. You know, each individual area has to be judged on its uh, kind of its own merits, and it, it's not a one size and fits one, all. What's happening in there in that particular area? Right. That's why it's so important to take each section on its own, get the people within that area to contribute as to you know where the be be most benefit can come from. Yeah. And, yeah, and then they also get the, the buy-in and you can see the benefits out of it. The exactly. Benefits, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat. It's neat. Yeah. I grew up around the Menominee. I grew up in Wauwatosa, and we had quite a bit of discussion tonight already about areas of, of Wauwatosa. And so I got a little bit of invested, a little bit of skin in the game on, on this one, too, so not just where I work. Yeah, the, the only other um, watershed plan I've been involved in some forested areas in the northern mm -hmm. part of the state. You know, everybody's kind of doing their watershed plans yeah. across the state, yeah. and just the complexity of this one is, and all the entities involved is pretty daunting. To, it is. You know, you know, I think and then all the issues. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to Wauwatosa West High School on, when we had our first. Um, uh, eco was it Ecology Day, uh, which is right along the Menominee on, on, uh, in Wauwatosa and Center Street. And now we're reaching out to businesses and asking them, you know, would you please adopt part of the river or take on a, a, a particular action and make a contribution, a volunteer contribution. There's a lot of businesses that are environmentally mi minded or, you know, want to make a claim that they're a green company and that type of thing and can contribute. So I'm, I'm hoping we're going to get some good response out of the business community as well. Mm, yeah, that's a good resource. Yeah.